other things that make that sperm move into the woman is irrelevant because if you need the seed of the man to become a baby although although other other uh, fluid help for smooth transmission but that fluid transmission uh, the, the fluid that causes the transmission is not part of the baby it doesn't make human being it's the nutfa which you stated is correct nutfa make baby and therefore if he's talking of uh, the mare or water or fluid then there's nothing to ponder upon. That's what I'm, my argument is. Okay. Let me yeah. let me tell you how how I ponder upon. Right. Okay. When the Quran says, "Let man ponder upon how he's created," right? How he's created. <laughs> First, say how. Sorry. From what? Mim ma khulib. From what is created. The answer given is two-step answers. Now look at my pondering. It's created from khulqa min ma in David from a gushing fluid. Now the Quran, when I analyze all of the Quran contextually, I see the Quran talks about and highlights sometimes a particular component, other times another component to make a point. Here, it is not describing is the, just with the sperm because it is describing the second part of this description, the emission of it. Because it's describing, look, I could be totally wrong, but my understanding as far as I understand is this. It is describing about a gushing fluid which emits from a particular reference point. We know scientifically, there's a doctor there, the gushing fluid that we're talking about, it is a mixture of the spermatozoa that are stored in the epididymis, traveling through the vas deferens, okay, all the way going up there and, the, and mixes with the prostatic secretions. The, Secretion of the seminal vesicles joins together from the corpus glands, the bulbo urethral glands. Yeah, so all of this mixture come together, the blood and egg opens, and then what happens? It passes through the urethra and then it's ejaculated. So the fluid, I am now pondering, it didn't just come from your testicle, my friend. Some people might think it comes from your testicle. It doesn't. This gushing fluid, indeed, on pondering that I realize, it comes from several of those components which mix together in an area described by the Quranic reference point, the anterior of a cylinder, the human body, which is the ribs, and the posterior other side, which is the backbone, and in between, not say from one and the other, says in between, and in between you had this area, this area of the prostates and the seminal vesicles and the ampulla and the vas deferens, they are located clearly, scientifically, anatomically within that region. So when I ponder this, I say, subhanAllah, how could someone even know this when we did not even have the knowledge of physiology available at this time? So it is quite unique. That was the second part. The first part, the first part was even more unique because if the sperm is contained within this gushing fluid, which describes Mawan Dafik, which is self-emitting, self-propelled, it is a recent knowledge within human anatomy and physiology that the spermatozoa has a tail that wiggles and it has self-motility. It is motile by itself. That is why the Quran didn't use, which is the traditional usage, should have been It didn't say madfuq. If you look at the interpreters, they say it means ma'in madfuq. Even most of the interpreters, they, they spoke, oh actually it says ma'un madfuq. But the Quran says ma'un dafiq in an active form that's something that does the emitting or propelling or mortality by itself. So when the Quran says, would you not ponder when you're created? And I ponder, I say, subhanallah, this knowledge is from Allah.